Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below. And I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website. If you want me to coach you every step of the way, step-by-step -step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long-term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also. And I can help you out personally again, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new Girls Night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my Girls Night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, Never let a man make you a placeholder or save you for later. Right, ladies? So you cannot allow a man to put you in a placeholder position. And you may say, Sid, what is a placeholder? Maybe you heard it before, or maybe you know what it is, maybe you don't know what it is. But as a refresher, a placeholder is basically a woman that a man is with, let's say you with a man, right? Y'all two together or y'all talking, whatever. But you not the one he really want to be with. He's really just settling for you in the meantime, in between time, and using you temporarily right now to get whatever he can out of you until he gets the woman that he really wants to be with. So basically, you would be the placeholder because you are holding a place in this man's life temporarily and he secretly wants a different type of woman another woman you not really his type or he don't really view you as a wife he don't really view you as anything long term you not the woman of his dreams you just a girl right now that he dealing with right now just so Either A, he don't feel lonely. A lot of men, they might not be able to attract the woman he really, really want. He might not have the money right now to attract the woman he really want. Or he might not have came across or found the woman that he really want. So, he got to go with what he can afford. Or he got to go with whatever woman is around to him in proximity that will show him some type of attention. He gonna, you know, most men take what they can get, right? Most men, they're gonna take what they can get. 
at a period of time. It might not be what he want, but he'll take booty. Any man gonna take booty from any woman. It might not be the booty I want forever, but I'll take it for right now, right? So just because he doesn't want to be alone or he still wants consistent sex, obviously men want sex, duh, you know, or he wants, you know, just a woman that will be by his side right now. He want that companionship. He want to feel that type of love. But, and he don't really care who it's coming from as long as he's receiving some type of validation or is, is some woman that's showing him some type of attention. But he know in the back of his mind, this is only going to last for so long. This is, this is only temporary. But whole time, you thinking this man is the man of your dreams. Or you thinking that this man... Y'all gonna be something. Y'all gonna be together. Y'all gonna be married. Y'all gonna be living happily ever after. And don't even realize that he really don't even like you. Or he really is faking the whole situationship, the whole relationship, or sometimes even the whole marriage. Yes, a woman can be a placeholder even in a marriage. Because maybe that man just settled. Some men, they just settle with you because of convenience. It's a lot of men, you not they type. You not the woman of they dreams. They they don't they they don't look at you like that. Like when they see you, they like, eh, you alright, you cool, whatever. They not like heart eyes, heart eyes, goo goo gaga over you. They just like, eh, she cool. She'll do for now. You know what I'm saying? And it's not right for you as a woman to be with a man that don't even like you and that wants somebody else the whole time. He is basically just using you for, like I said, convenience for one. And then he's using you because, hey, it's just something to do right now. And just in case I don't get the woman I really want or just in case I can't attract the woman I really want, I at least got something or somebody to fill in that spot, you know, temporarily. But like I said, the whole time he'll be thinking about somebody else. So you should never let a man make you a placeholder. You need a man that's ready. He ready. Let me tell you something about men. Every last man on this earth, don't let them tell you wrong. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Every man on this earth, they know off the rip, off the jump, as soon as they look at you, and especially the first three months or so, first three to six months, this man already knows if he want to spend the rest of his life with you. I'm going to say that one more time. When a man first see you, when he first lock eyes on you, eye contact, when he first talk to you for that first few months, about three months is good, you know, four, five months. After six months max, he already know for sure if he want to spend the rest of his life with you, or at least if he would consider spending the rest of his life with you. The problem is a lot of men, when they see you, they automatically categorize you as a friends with benefits. Or they automatically categorize you as just, you know, somebody I could just hang out with, have sex with, nothing too serious. But I'm going to keep her around and I'm going to get her invested into me. I'm going to make her fall in love with me. But meanwhile, I'm really looking for something else. A lot of times a man, you not his type and he feel like he can do better than you. A lot of men, they feel like they can do better than you. Or they feel like they can attract a woman that look better, a woman with a bigger booty, a woman. They, they think they can do better than you. So they keep you in this box, right? And a lot of times, most times a placeholder is considered a situationship, right? Uh, it, that's what a situationship is. Y'all doing everything like y'all in a relationship or y'all in a marriage, you know? The only difference is it's not official. When you're in a situationship, a lot of times it's just the only difference between a situationship and a relationship is that it's not 
verbally official and understood that we are in an exclusive relationship with each other. Like, this is a thing. Not just, yeah, we just kicking it from time to time. Men already know what they want from the jump. A man already know, hey, this woman gonna be my wife or nah, this woman just gonna be a placeholder until I find my wife, right? That's what it is. You gonna be a placeholder until I find my wife or if I see you and I like you and I get to know you a little bit, I'm gonna categorize you as my wife one day, right? So if you are not a man's first choice, if you are not a man's number one pick, only pick, if you are not a man's number one priority, if a man is not madly in love with you, if you are not the woman of this man's dreams, you should not be talking to him. You shouldn't be talking to him. Because all he going to do is, is waste your time. And you going to waste your own time dealing with him and he don't even like you. And secretly, he, he really wants somebody else. So why would you even be a placeholder with a man that don't never want to commit to you? You in a situation ship, ain't no title, ain't nothing official. You not the girlfriend, you not the fiance, you not the wife, you ain't nothing. You don't have no title. So you just a placeholder. You ain't nobody. We friends with benefits. Or sometimes, you know, it, you could be the placeholder as a girlfriend. It's women that's the forever girlfriend. Y'all been boyfriend, girlfriend for five years, 10 years, 20, 50 years. You ain't, you still ain't got no ring on your finger. You been laid up. You live with this man. You been living with this man for years. And you still not married? He still don't want to marry you? You got this grown man living with you for all these years and you still ain't got no ring on your finger? You want to know why? Because you a placeholder. Most times, you not the woman that he want. Let me tell you something about a man. If a, a man, no, men are hunters. What I tell y'all, I can't drill this into y'all head enough. Men are hunters. Men hunt. It's in our DNA to hunt. If a man not hunting you, he see it, he like it, he want it, he got to go get it. Men are hunters. Men hunt. I'm going I'm to I'm catch you and conquer the prey. If he's not eager to conquer the prey, if he could care less about the prey, you, if he could care less about chasing you, if he could care less about putting a ring on your finger, if he could care less about making you a girlfriend at least or a fiance and wife all together, if he could care less about, you know, making you the number one only woman in his life that he's interested in, then guess what? He don't really like you. It's all fake. Men be faking. Don't be believing what these men be telling you. A man will tell you anything to get in your drawers. A man will tell you anything, baby. I love you so much. You know I care about you. You know you everything to me, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, you ain't got no ring on your finger. You ain't got no title. You're not the girlfriend. You're not nothing. All y'all doing is having sex or better yet, you giving him sex. You giving him all everything you got and what you got in return to show for it. You've been dealing with this man all this time and you ain't got nothing to show for it. You ain't got no title. You ain't got no ring. And sometimes even when you got a title and you got a ring, you still ain't got no man. It's a lot of women in a relationship or marriage with a man. And this man settled. He settled. You was not my number one choice. I just settled for you because you was just having to be around or you been so good to me or you didn't did so much for me or whatever. I'm going to just get with you out of convenience just because, you know, whatever. So is that love? Did he get with you out of love or did he get with you out of fear fear of being lonely fear of not having no booty fear of not having a woman's feminine touch fear of you know 
just being by himself with no booty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So don't know man, even, even if a man has not found a woman of his dreams or you are not the woman of his dreams, you may say, but see, why he even dealing with me? If I'm not the woman of his dreams, why he wasting his time with me? Or if he don't love me, if he don't care for me, if he don't really want to be with me like that, if he don't want to marry me like that, then why does he even contact me or why is he even involved with me? Why he even in my face if he don't even want me, right? Like that Fantasia song. If you don't want me, don't talk to me, right? Like, like Fantasia say. So, but the, the answer to that is he still want booty. So even though you're not the woman I really want, you still got booty. You still got a kitty cat between your legs. So, and you still can cook and clean and stuff. So you can hold the spot. That's why it's called a placeholder. You can hold the spot of my girlfriend or wife, but you'll never be the girlfriend or wife. And even if you are the girlfriend or wife, I will still leave you if I find the woman I really want to be with. So that's why you got to be careful because a lot of times a man will leave you. He'll leave you. That's the problem with a placeholder. You're temporary. When you are a placeholder, you have a temporary spot. The, the clock is ticking. It's a matter of time before he drop you and find some other woman that he really want to be with. You know, so if you get with this man, one day he gonna wake up and one day he gonna leave you for another woman that he deems as better than you, that's actually his type. Or, wait, or he might try to find or try to attract the woman of his dreams, right? He might find the woman of his dreams. He might be spending all his money on her, might be chasing her, might be trying to be with her, blah, 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 all this stuff. You know, he push you to the side and he all over her, spending money on her, trying to get her and it don't work out and she don't like him back and she use him or she not interested in him and he keep investing into her. So now that it don't work out with the woman he really want to be with, ah, I guess I'll go back to you, the placeholder. I guess I'll go back to you, the backup. If, if, if you a placeholder, all you are is a rebound backup. You somebody on the sidelines. I'm saving you for later while I go out and get the woman I really want to be with. But if it don't work out with the woman I actually like and want to be with and want to marry, then I guess I will settle for you just to say I got somebody so I'm not alone. So he only using you as a backup. He only using you, you basically... You might as well be the last kid that's picked on the kickball team. You know how when we was kids, you used to line up and I want you on my team. Okay, I want you on my team. I want you on my team. You the last pick on, on, on the team. You the last pick. They're like, eh, ain't nobody left. All the good players are gone. We already got all the good players on our teams. So I guess you the only one left. Come on on our team, I guess. Do you know how horrible that feels being the last person picked on a kickball or whatever team? You might you might have did cheerleading, you might have did volleyball, and you was the last person picked, or you were the last one that didn't make the cut of the team. That's a horrible feeling when you're not the first chosen one, or you're not the starting lineup. You get what I'm saying? So stop being on the sidelines. If a man is wasting your time, if he don't want to be with you, if a man tell you, I'm not ready for a relationship, if a man tell you, I'm not looking for marriage, if a man tell you, I just want to be friends, if a man tell you, we just kicking it, I don't want nothing serious, I don't want to rush into nothing, I just want to take my time, or I just want to do me, or I'm not ready, whatever. That's when you have to pack up your picnic basket and you have to leave the park. Pack up all your picnic baskets and all your stuff. And guess what? It's raining right now. So take your picnic basket and go home. Don't sit out in the rain when this man then told you, hey, I don't want you. 
in so many words. You not my type, you not my number one woman. If a man wants you, he gonna come get you. If a man wants you, you won't have to ask him or beg him or force him or try to manipulate him into wanting to be with you. If somebody wanna be with you, if a man wants you and like you, he, he gonna do it on his own. He gonna be pressing A. Hey, girl, I'm trying to marry you. What I need to do, you know? He gonna be all in your face. But if a man don't really care, he got eyes for another woman and that's why he not trying with you. That's why he not spending money on you for real. That's why he not investing into you. That's why he not trying with you. That's why he not calling you and texting you for real. That's why he not, that's why he inconsistent and that's why he treats you like trash. He, he, he cuss you out, call you out your name. He, he be tripping with you because you not his number one woman. He's not afraid to lose you because he could care less about losing you. You not the woman he really want. If you was the woman he really wanted, he would actually appreciate you a lot of times. If you was the woman he actually wanted and he valued you, he would already he would already married you by now. You been with this man for all these years and you still not married? Baby girl, cut it off and leave him alone. It ain't happening. He ain't gonna tell you, but I'm gonna tell you, it's not happening. He don't want you. You a placeholder and move on. If you not a man's number one choice, don't settle for number two, okay? So anyways, ladies, we gonna jump right into this video and per usual, I'm gonna give you my top five. Yes, five reasons why you never wanna be a placeholder and you never want a man to save you for later and you never want a man to not commit to you. You want a man to commit to you and make you a girlfriend, fiance, wife. If you not the girlfriend, fiance, wife, you don't never get no ring on your finger. If you never even make it to the girlfriend part, then 10 times out of 10, he don't even like you. He just using you temporarily until he get the woman he really want, okay? So we jump right to it, we going number one. So number one, the first reason why you don't wanna be a placeholder, number one is he will always string you along forever, right? So this man will always string you along. You think, okay, me and him, we kicking it, we having sex, he coming over your house, you coming over his house, y'all going on dates, y'all having fun, you all in love, you think this man so handsome, he so tall, he got nice, nice muscles, he got a nice beard, he got a nice car, you know, you having fun with him, he make you laugh, you just really enjoying this man's company you might start catching a lot of feelings for this man. You start falling in love with this man, right? Now, I'm gonna tell you what happens. You start getting so attached to this man based off of, you know, you thinking there's gonna be some potential there or you thinking that hopefully one day he's going to marry you or be with you or whatever. But whole time, you're investing for nothing. Whole time, you cooking and cleaning for nothing. Whole time, you giving him booty all the time for nothing. Whole time, you going all out your way. You being faithful to him. You being loyal to him. You doing this and this. You going all out your way. You, you might be spending your money on him, buying him stuff, doing stuff for him, doing this and doing this, thinking in your minds, I'm going to get a return on my investment. Or at least this man is going to appreciate me and value me based off of what I do for him. And a lot of times that's the problem. That's all he will value you for. That's the only reason why he got you around. You investing into him and he's stringing you along. Yeah, keep chasing me. Yeah, keep calling me. Keep texting me. Keep spending your money on me. Keep giving me booty. Keep doing this and this and this for me. Occupying my time until I, you know, search for the woman I really want. So while I'm on my hunt for the real prey, for the for the woman of my dreams, 
ah, I guess I'll let you chase me. I guess I'll let you pour into me. But guess what? You don't never, ever get a title. So if you never get a title, is it really even official? It's not official if it ain't no title. It ain't official. Y'all just in a situationship. Most times we're going to speak on a situationship and this, and as a placeholder. In your mind, you start thinking, okay, this man, he gonna come around. He gonna, he gonna put a ring on my finger. He gonna make me his girlfriend. We gonna be together. And he might even be telling you. That's the problem with the placeholder. The placeholder, you know, as far as the man, a lot of times he telling you what you wanna hear and making you believe that your spot is solidified when it's not. Thinking that your spot is reserved. This man telling you, I care about you so much. I love you so much, baby. You mean the world to me. You know, I want to be with you. I want to marry you. I want this. I want kids. I want a family. Blah, 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 right? He telling you how much he like you and, and what he want to do in the future and all this stuff. But all he doing is talking. This what a lot of men do. Blah, blah, blah. Talk, talk, talk. They say things that sound good to women. So women believe the lies and now he can get away with whatever mischievous or whatever toxic thing he can get away with. However way he can manipulate you, that's how he do it. He gets you attached first and then he attacks. So first they get you attached, right? Get your feelings all involved. Then they attack and they use you and manipulate you and toss you to the side when they done with you. So you will never be number one. You will never be, you, you always think this man gonna make me his girlfriend. No, it's not. No, he not. This man gonna make me his wife. No, he not. This man gonna make me his girl. No, he not. He said he loved me. No, he don't. If he loved you, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be talking. He would be doing. If he loved you, you would have already been a girlfriend. It wouldn't be, I want you to be my girlfriend one day. I want to be married to you one day. Uh, one day, one day, one day. It ain't going to be no one day. What's stopping him from doing it now? What's stopping him from making effort now? Making plans now? He's not intentional. A man that's not intentional is a man that don't need to be in your life. Or if he don't know what he want, it's some men, let's just say, he, he don't even know what he want. Every woman is a placeholder that come to him. It might not even be even if he get the woman of his dreams. Sometimes, I'm going to put it like this. Some men, they even when they get the woman of their dreams, they still dog her out because they don't even know what they want. A lot of men, they think, if I get this beautiful woman with this big booty, I'm going to be faithful to her. I'm going to make her my wife. I'm going to do this for her. I'm going to do that for her. And even when they get that woman, they still don't never marry her and still don't never be with her or whatever. Because this man don't even know what he want. He don't know He don't know what his intentions are with a woman. He just having sex and kicking it. So he don't even know if he even ready for nothing serious or not. So you need a man that's ready for commitment, right? And you need to stop wasting your time with men that don't care nothing about you, okay? Because he'll always be stringing you along. He ain't never going to change. He ain't never going to be with you. If you thinking that you cooking and cleaning and giving him booty is going to make him make you a girlfriend or a wife, you wrong. If you think that you can go out your way for him to force him to be with you, you wrong. You can't force nobody to like you and appreciate you. Either they like you and they want you or they don't. So accept it. That's the problem. A lot of y'all women don't accept it when a man tell you, I don't want you. Or in so many words, he told you, I don't, I, I don't like you. I'm not ready for a relationship. I'm not looking for nothing serious. That means I don't like you, ma'am. I don't like you. Okay. So get it through your head and just move on. Don't stay. Cause when you stay with him, now you in trouble. Okay. Cause now you dragging yourself through the mud, dealing with this man for what? And you know, he don't want you. So you're going to be chasing him and you'll never get that ring on your finger that you always been wanting, that you've been investing for, right? So that's number one. So number two, 
The second reason why you don't want to be a placeholder to a man. Number two is he will never respect you. You got to look at it as a man, right? Think, let's think like a man, right? Act like a lady, think like a man. You got to think like a man right now, okay? You got to say, hmm, if I was a man and I told a woman, I don't like you. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to marry you. I'm not ready for nothing serious. I I, I just want to be friends, whatever. And that woman says, uh, that's cool. I don't care. I still want to deal with you. And I'm still going to have sex with you. And I'm still going to kick it with you. And I'm still going to do X, Y, Z. You as a man, you might say, so... This woman is a dummy. I told her, clearly I told her I don't want her. And she's still here? What's she still here for? I told this woman I don't want her. And she's still here? Because she think she could change my mind. She think one day I'm going to be with her. She think that, you know, I'm going to choose her. I'm going to pick her. But you need to leave. You need to be done. You need to be able to cut a man off if he don't like you and if he's not ready to commit. Because if you stay after a man showed you, I don't want to be with you, even if he messing around with other women, and you know, you might know this man dealing with this girl, this girl, this girl, you know he messing with multiple women and you still stay. Because you think you basically basically going to win over the competition. You think them other girls ain't got nothing on me. I'm going to prove my value to him so he chooses me. And the whole time, he will never choose you, will never pick you. He actually loses respect for you when you stay with him and you know for sure he don't want to be with you. Or you know for sure he's not ready. And he told you. And a man in his mind, he going to say, man, what, 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 what's she still in my face for? That's basically like you, you know Chick-fil-A closed on Sundays, right? Everybody know Chick-fil-A closed on Sundays. If you know Chick-fil-A closed on Sundays, why would you go to Chick-fil-A? Why would you go to Chick-fil-A if you know they not open on Sundays? That's the same thing you doing to this man. You know this man is not open. He's not available at all, period. But you still go to him anyways. So you're not finna get your Chick-fil-A, ma'am. You're not finna get your love or your, or your commitment from this man. He told you already, I'm closed. He told you already, I'm not ready. He told you already, we not open. Our lights off, we closed. I'm not ready for a relationship. You know? But you, you want this man so bad, you want, quote, unquote, metaphorically, Chick-fil-A so bad, you knocking at the door and ain't nobody there. And you keep knocking. Hey, here go my money. I got money. I got money. I, I got, ain't nobody there, ma'am. I can do this. I can do that. I just want some Chick-fil-A. I'm here. I'm here. Ain't nobody there. So what you still over there for? You need to leave. Be gone, Okay. So never try to change a man because he will always disrespect. He will look down on you. And now this is when he lose respect for you. And then as soon as a man loses respect for you, now he gets disrespectful because you still here. So you so desperate because you think that you think that I'm a, I'm going to change my mind one day. So you so desperate to prove to me, that you want to be with me so bad, you're willing to do anything or let me, allow me to do anything to you just to say you got me or just to have a chance to be with me. So no matter what I do, if I lie to you, if I cheat on you, or you know, if I'm talking to other women that I feel like is more important than you, or if I cuss you out, call you out your name, if I put hands on you, if I just disrespect you, you ain't going to do nothing because you still here after I told you I ain't even want you in the first place. So since I told you I don't want you in the first place and you still here, 
I know that no matter what I do, you still gonna be here anyways. So why would I value you if you still chasing me when I don't even want you, right? So that's number two. So number three, the third reason why you never wanna be a placeholder to a man Number three is he will just be using you the whole time for your benefits. So the only reason why this man got you around is for the booty. He don't like you. He don't want to make you his wife, but he wants some booty. He liked that booty and he needs some booty to validate him and make him feel good. He needs some booty just from somebody. He don't care who the booty coming from. But it just so happened to come from you and it's consistent booty. So he don't want to let the consistent booty go because a lot of men don't have consistent booty. A lot of men that's just dating, let's say they just dating, talking to a whole bunch of women. Yeah, they might have consistent sex as far as I talked to this girl, had sex with her. I got I talked to this girl, I got sex with her. Here go a new girl, had sex with her. Yeah, like that. But it's temporary and it's wishy-washy and it's unstable booty, right? But if I'm consistently getting booty from one woman over and over and over again, that's better and more stable than getting booty from multiple women and I don't have at least one stable woman that I can get booty from. If I don't have, if I'm just winging it and I'm just having sex with whoever, this girl, this girl might not, she might, you know, cut me off, might not want to talk to me. This girl went back to her ex. This girl, she was only there for the money. So he might look up and now he don't got no booty. Now ain't no girl. If he just dating around, he ain't got no booty. So a lot of men, they at least want to have one consistent girl they have a sex with. And then they can build on top of that. So at least I got one consistent girl I have a sex with. Then I can have sex with this girl, this girl, this girl. And if all these other girls stop having sex with me, I know I still got my the, the main placeholder that was always willing to give me booty, right? So he using you for sex, okay? And he using you for cooking. You know, a lot of men, they use you as a chef. You don't even know it. You think this man like you, he like your home-cooked meals. He don't like you. He just liked the fact that you can cook like somebody grandma on Thanksgiving. So he liked the food, but he don't like you. He don't like you. He don't care about who it's coming from. He just need to be fed. He probably tired of eating fast food. He tired of eating takeout. Tired of eating, you know, all these bad foods. So now he said, I need a home cooked meal. If she cooks so good, I'm going to keep her around as my personal chef. You think I'm playing, but men be using women as a personal chef. Or, you know, you might be cleaning up, cleaning up all the time. You come over his house, you clean up his whole house. You Lysol, Febreze, and Pine Saw, and Clorox in his whole house. And he using you as a maid. You Molly the maid over there. And he using you. You might as well put on your apron on and your feather duster and call yourself Molly the Maid because that's all you are. He don't look at you like you worth anything. This is strictly business. Booty is strictly business. A woman cooking for me is strictly business. You, you cook, I eat. That's strictly business. When it comes to cleaning up, it's strictly business. I mess up, you clean up my mess. Strictly business. I don't love you. I don't care for you. I'm using you as free service, right? So sex, cooking, cleaning, what else men use women for? Money. A lot of y'all women, I'm so disappointed in you. I'm disappointed in you because you spending all your money on a man that, number one, you shouldn't be spending your money on a man anyways. The man need to be spending money on you. First and foremost, you don't spend no money on no man. Number two, the fact that you spending money on this man and most times he not even spending no money on you, period. So you paying for everything. Every time y'all go out, you buying everything. Every time y'all hang out, you paying for everything. Every time, you know, it's his birthday, Christmas, holidays, you come through for him. But when it's your time, he broke and he ain't got no money. Or most times, he lazy. Or most times, he don't care to get you nothing at all. 
So, you know, he just using you for money. Yeah, pay for my haircut. Yeah, buy me my new video game. Yeah, you know, do X, Y, Z, pay my phone bill, pay for this, buy me some new shoes, buy me some, some new jewelry, buy me this, buy me that. Can you do this for me? Because he broke. So he using you just as a come up. A lot of men that's broke, especially broke men, they use women as a come up since they ain't got no money. The only reason why he with you is because you taking care of him. The only reason why he with you is because you paying for everything. The only reason why he with you is because you giving him money and paying all his bills and buying him gifts. So why would he cut you off if you so nice to him and, and willing to spend all your little money on him? You think he going to cut you off? No. He going to allow you to spend all your money on him. Why? He don't spend no money on you. But guess what? That same exact man. Even if he broke, a lot of men, even if they broke, if they find a woman in their dreams, they will literally scrape up some money just to take her out. They going to scrape up whatever money they can. They will spend their last to be able to have a chance with that woman. That's how you know you're just a placeholder because he letting you spend all the money on him. <laughs> he like, I'm the prize, woman. You come to me. I'm the prize. You pay my bills. You take me out. You give me booty. You give me, you know, whatever. Cook and clean for me. And I ain't got to do nothing for you. You a placeholder. He using you for free service. All you are is just his personal assistant. Or his emotional support. When he going through something, he got you to talk to. You basically his therapist. Or you became his secretary, right? So you doing all his paperwork. You typing up all his, you know, resumes. You doing all his applications. You setting all his appointments. You doing everything for him. And what has he done for you? What? Look at your hand. Do you got anything on your hand? No. You ain't got not one ring on your finger. But you over here acting like a wife, trying to be a wife. And that's why you'll never be a wife because he's already getting wife privileges without making you a wife. Right? So don't let no man use you for everything you got. And he don't like you for you. He only like you for what you do. Okay? So that's number three. So number four. The fourth reason why you should never be a placeholder to a man. Number four is you simply deserve a man that's ready for commitment. So you deserve, you have to know I deserve, say it with me. I deserve a man that actually wants to be with me. Not a man that's going to make me a placeholder, right? A lot of y'all women, you got low self-esteem. A lot of you women, you don't love yourself. A lot of you women, you need a man to complete you. You you are literally nothing without a man. You need a man to, to validate you. You need a man to love you so you can feel loved, even if it's not even real love. You, you just need a man by your side. You know what I'm saying? You have no identity outside of a relationship or outside of a man period and that's sad you should love yourself and know who you are and you need to be able to walk away if you are not taken care of if you're not happy or if this man don't want to be with you or this man not treating you right or this man is not contributing to your betterment of you then guess what he she has no business in your life and you need to do and learn how to cut a man off. I'm going to put it like this. A lot of y'all women, it's so easy to blame the man. Yes, we could blame the man. We done blame the man the whole video. The man, the man, the man. He bad. He, he messed up. He's a horrible person, right? He's just a bad person, okay? He going to use you and not care about your feelings and use you for everything you got and kick you to the curb to go find another woman. Yes, you know, that's horrible. 
But at the same time, you as a woman got to take accountability to say, once this man told me and I knew that he didn't want me, why didn't I cut it off there and actually go get what I deserve? Why did I feel like I deserved less? This man said, I'll give you less. And I said, okay, hopefully I can take this less right now. And maybe one day I'll get more from him later on. And that more don't ever come. That potential. Y'all women, y'all be stressing me out as a dating coach with this potential word. Potential. Sid, he got so much potential. Sid, potential, potential, potential. This man ain't shown you nothing. What potential are you seeing when you break down the facts and you list out all these man's, this man's qualities and what you're actually benefiting from dealing with him, you will see that is zero. And when you see how much stress and damage he's causing into your life, it's on 100,000. That list go down the line. So... You need to know I, as a woman, deserve better. I gotta. I, I deserve a man to love me. I deserve a man to treat me right. I deserve a man to make me a girlfriend, fiance, wife. I deserve a man to pour into me. I deserve a man to spend money on me. I deserve a man to protect me. I deserve a man to, you know, want to be a man. I deserve a man that actually wants to marry me and put a ring on my finger and not play no games. I deserve a man that wants to be, you know, a father to his, to our children. You know, I deserve a man that wants to take care of our family. I deserve a man that puts me above everybody outside of himself and God. You know, you deserve a man that outside of God, number one, and you know, himself, you are first priority outside of everybody else is you, right? So you just simply deserve a man. And once you know better, you do better. When you think you deserve less, you accept less. So you got low self-esteem because this man told you, I don't want to be with you. And you said, okay, I know I'm not good enough. So can I prove myself that I'm good enough for you? Please, your majesty, your highness, I'll cook for you. I'll clean for you. I'll give you booty. Am I good enough now? Get you a man that you don't got to be good enough for. You're already good enough. Get you a man that already thinks you're valuable. You don't have to prove your value. You don't have to impress him because he already sees what you're capable of. He already knows what he got in front of him. You know, a lot of men, they say, you don't know what you got until it's gone. You think this man don't know what he got right in front of my face? This man, a lot of times he know what he got, but he don't really care because he don't think he's going to leave nowhere. Or, you know, maybe he don't care because, you know, he don't know what he got until you're gone out of his life. So just be gone and move on. Okay, so that's number four. So number five. The fifth and last and final reason why you should never be a placeholder to a man and you need a title, girlfriend, fiance, wife, and don't settle for less. Number five is you waste too much time and you damage yourself too much over time, right? So by you wasting all this time, just think about how much time we didn't even talk about the time. That as a woman, you really got to think about this. As a woman, it's very important. Time is ticking, especially if you want babies. You want to you wanna have a baby. You want to get pregnant. You want to get married. You want the whole thing, right? You want a family. You want all that. Time is ticking. You ain't got forever to be dealing with a man for five years, 10 years, 20, 50 years. And he not trying to marry you and he not trying to be no family and he not trying to make you his wife. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got time for that. You ain't got time for that. Let's just say, I'm going to put it like this, a scenario. Let's say you are a 30-year-old woman. Let's say you 30. You 30 years old, right? Let's say you deal with a man for five years. It's just a situationship. You've been in a situationship with this man. For five years, 
He ain't made you his girlfriend. He ain't put no ring on your finger. Y'all just been dating, having sex, and kicking it. And that's it. So eventually, you know, you might cut him off. You might say, hey, you know, this not working out. He don't want to be with me. Or he get the tripping or acting up. Y'all go y'all separate ways, right? Think about it. You just wasted five years. Now you 35. You 35 now. You done wasted five whole years of your life that you could have gave to another man that would have gave you everything. But you giving your time to the wrong man that don't give you nothing in return. So now, you know, five years that went by you 35. Now you go mess with another man, situationship. He got you in a situationship for another five years. Now you 40. Y'all break up or y'all stop talking, no contact. You cut him off, he cut you off, whatever. Now you 40 and you single. You been wait, you done wasted 10 years of your life on two men. And neither one of them made you a girlfriend or wife. Neither one of them married you. Neither one of them wanted to be with you. Neither one of them was your husband. And you wasting time. And you taking a lot of damage. You taking this man cheating on you. You 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 getting messed up. You know men are messing around with other women. Or if y'all do end up getting together, whatever. He cheating on you, lying to you, putting hands on you, cussing you out, calling you out your name. He dragging you through the mud for those five years. Then you get with the next guy five years. He drag you through the mud some more. Now you 40 years old. You was 30. You know, you spent five years with one guy, five years with another guy. You 40 years old right now, and now you bitter at men. You angry at men because you have been damaged by men over time. You kept putting yourself through the same thing with the same man, and you know he ain't never going to change, but you kept putting yourself through it thinking he was going to change and be with you and appreciate you, but it ain't never happened. So now you bitter at men, and you 40. Then you go deal with another man. Five years, you 45, you know, and the cycle continues. You look up, you can't have no kids no more. You look up, your eggs ain't, you know, as fertile as they was when you was, you know, 20s, 30s, maybe even early 40s. You know what I'm saying? But if you keep wasting time with these men, you really got to pay attention. If you keep wasting five years, 10 years, with each man or two years, each man, I dated him for two years, dated him for five years, dated him for three years, dated him for 10 years. You dating these men that, that don't have no intentions on you. You wasting your youth. You don't even look like how you looked 10 years ago, 15 years ago. You not getting no younger. So why waste time? Life, life ain't, life, this is real. Life is real. We ain't got time to be wasting wasting time with nobody that, that ain't trying to move when we trying to move. So, you know, so now when you look up, now you, you know, 45, 50, 55, and now you looking for love. And now you like, wow, it's harder now because I done wasted all my youth and all my, you know, eggs on men that didn't even care or didn't even want me. So now, when, when you want a real quality man, you bitter, you may or may not be able to have children, you mad at men, you, 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 you don't like men at all because you have been hurt and cheated on and played so many times, you can't even fully love the man that you actually find that, you know, the match, your perfect match, you might find your perfect match at the end of all that. At the end of all your trauma, you finally find the man of your dreams, but you can't even be complete or you can't even, you know, really give him your all. You can't really even trust him because you don't trust men at all. And, you know, you done wasted a lot of your time with, with men that didn't, that didn't even want you. When you could have cut a man off as soon as he told you, I'm not ready for a relationship, you could have cut it off and been dating men that actually liked you within those 10 years or 15 years or 20 years or whatever that you wasted with one, two, three, four men that didn't even like you, right? So...
Get you a man that wants you, not a man that don't want you. Okay? Get you a man that's going to put a ring on your finger and not a man that just want to have sex with you and then leave you when he find the woman of his dreams, right? So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five reasons why you never want to be a placeholder. And, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me, and I'm out of here. So, to the next video.